part of me really didn't want to do this video. So the other day I was going through my wardrobe uh, doing a spot of spring cleaning because you never know what clothes you might have outgrown and ironically or rather poetically uh, this is what this video is all about. Um, yeah I was going through my wardrobe and I happened upon a cosplay that I hadn't done in a little while and I've decided that I'm going to retire it. So for the last five years I've been living in a shared accommodation, in a shared house. It's easy, it's cheap and for the most part it's been quite good but the first few years weren't particularly easy. It was probably the darkest time of my life um, and I made a few mistakes but I won't go into that. But it was around that time that I discovered the YouTube channel, Channel Awesome, and in particular the character of Nostalgia Critic, who is played by Doug Walker. And by late 2015 I decided that I was going to start cosplaying as the Nostalgia Critic because he's just a good character, really, instantly recognisable, um, really fun, really energetic. Uh, I even got a, a, a Batman credit card. I actually found somebody that made them online. And I got one of them made uh, to go with the cosplay as an accessory. I uh, even had Sarah, my partner, uh, manage to join me later on. And also Dom to do uh, Hyper Fango and the Devil characters from Channel Awesome. Um, I put the cosplay on hold for a little while because of all the DW2012 stuff that I was doing uh, I needed to keep the continuity of this look and I mean yeah I could always grow the beard back but it wouldn't look in my mind it wouldn't be the same it wouldn't look the same so I kind of put it on the back pedal for a little while um, and it just lay there in my wardrobe and then a few weeks ago this Google document came out and I don't want to go into any of the details because there are loads of YouTube channels that have done it including people who have been involved with Channel Awesome in the past uh, but I'm going to link the document in the description of this video if you want to check it out but it was created by a number of um, ex-producers of Channel Awesome and it showed a not so shining light of Doug Walker, his brother Rob, and the CEO Mike. Um, so, yeah, after watching that all unfold over the last few weeks and then have the whole thing about Juario come out, I decided I'm going to retire the cosplay. Um, I spoke to Sarah about it first and foremost because, end of the day, it's a couple's cosplay. She really enjoys being Hyper Fan Girl. Um, it, it 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 makes her smile every time she wears it. It's just one of those things. But even she turned to me and says that she's now unfollowed the channel because of all of these allegations and whatnot. And I can't blame her. It's her choice. It's not an easy decision for me to make because I I really enjoyed cosplaying that character. Um, I I've had shoots done. Like I've I I know photographer friends. Being a photographer myself, I know photographers. And I've you know modelled for them on on occasion, and I've even done the Nostalgia Critic cosplay for that, and I managed to get some really good images to the point where Doug Walker even shared one of them um, because he was impressed by it, and you know that made me feel really good at the time. But now it just seems that all of those memories have been soured slightly. It's a shame, really. I'll still keep the photos. I'll still keep the outfit and the accessories, but I won't be wearing it in the foreseeable future. And if I outgrow it, um, I'll sell it off in bits. I can always use the tie for something else. But it's just, it's a shame that it had to go down this way. I know that um, me and Dom have been following all the stuff that's been going on over the last few weeks, just following all of the producers just leaving like rats from a ship. Um, we saw the 
apology video well the apology document it wasn't even really an apology it was they didn't even call it an apology they called it our response um to the not so awesome document which it was it was uncomfortable to read i will however be following a lot of the channels of other producers that have been on channel awesome in the past there's quite a few that and i won't even say i discovered them through channel awesome most of them i just found via similar interests on youtube you know the analytics of it all i very rarely went onto the channel awesome website um but it was nice to see crossovers but yeah i'll, I'll still be following a lot of them in fact i'll put a, uh, a whole list of links of uh reviewers who have previous previously been on channel awesome in the description and i urge you to check out every single one of them they all have their own little kind of niche and they are absolutely brilliant and i look forward to watching their content whenever they put it up uh, there are some that i just i think are just fantastic and i hope to meet one day um also i have no ill feelings towards tamara lynn chambers and malcolm ray who are constantly with channel awesome at the time at uh, this moment of the video coming out. Um, I love their channels, I love their work, I think they're fantastic people, and they are conducting themselves in a far better light than the Walker Brothers and Mike. Um, so, yeah, uh, I say still keep following them, and uh, don't judge them either. It's it's They're the ones that are stuck in the middle of it all. I feel quite bad for them, really. But of course this brings up a, a different kind of issue in that I now only do Doctor Who cosplays and I'd like to kind of broaden my horizons on that. I mean I have done other cosplays in the past. I've done like a, I, I did a Bob's Burgers one at one point and a Mighty Max one which, yeah that one was, uh, <laughs> that was weird. But I might see what else I can do now, now that the Nostalgia Critic cosplay has been put to bed. Um, if you have any ideas just let me know in the comments this isn't one of these things where I'm trying to promote myself I'm just interested in people's opinions I mean have you read the document what do you think of the whole situation I'd be interested to, to hear what you think it would just be nice to kind of get out there and try something new I think that chapter of my life's now finished um, and I'm going to have to give it another go damn I just realised I've got a picture of me with Miriam Margolas dressed as Nostalgia Critic I'm going to have to get that updated.